Greetings, flesh wound, horror freaks, and welcome to another episode of TV Terror Talk. I am Daniel Shine, joined by producer Todd Loya. Good evening. Bugs Dread. Namaste. And Mike Kruger. What's up, you sick motherfuckers? So we're here tonight to continue our Fear Itself retrospective, episodes seven through nine now. And, uh, well, we'll get right into the action. So uh, hope you guys are having a great Halloween season, and we hope you've been enjoying these shows. Uh, it's been fun revisiting them. Uh, so our first episode is from American Psycho director herself, Mary Heron, and uh, from uh, writers Mick Garris and Kelly Kenimer. And in this one, Community, a young couple move into a secure, gated community and discover its horrifying secret. All right. Um, so this one stars uh, Brandon Ralph, uh, that Superman that nobody remembers or cares about. Uh, I, I don't. That wasn't I, Dean Cain. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Dean Cain had like six. He or found seven a new years. audience, all these right wing. F- Anyway, <laughs> he does. He makes. Uh, He's he makes... an asshole. He's also rude I, to fans. My buddy in Australia uh, had a terrible experience with him. I met him, nicest guy in the world. And you know what we talked oh, about? Yeah, your skin tone. That's fucked up. We talked about Dead and Deader of all things, the zombie <laughs> movie he made, yeah. and he had a good conversation with them about it. Where so, did you meet him? Uh, that would have been either Chiller or Monster Mania, and I can't remember which one. That's why I talked to you about that. <laughs> autograph on the wall. But he was a cool dude. Hey. Cool dude. Uh, well, yeah. He's so cool that, uh, well, that he used to, sh- like, on dates, he'd take the girls back to his house and play him episodes of Lois and Clark. Hey, hey, man. What do you think happened at the end of the night? Uh, he raped him. <laughs> Damn. They they were Allegedly. just it was, <laughs> I, I've never heard he any asked, allocations. What, what do you no, think no, happened? Okay. I think that, they were too intimidated by the implication. So mm-hmm. they agreed to it, but they didn't want it. So hence rape. I, Speak, I feel so your honor. raped here right now. Nice. Speaking of, of inappropriate touching and other stuff, back to Brandon Ruth. Ralph. <laughs> What did Brandon Ralph? Who's t- has everybody touched somebody inappropriately? I don't well, know let's Ralph. talk about who Brandon directed Ralph. him. I didn't say he was doing the touching. <laughs> he is a singer. Oh, oh, you're going to that other film. Yeah. Well, well, this has nothing to do with Fear itself. We're already on. Yeah. <laughs> let's go back to Fear itself. God damn. Community. Uh, so yes, community. I was gonna say. Best opening ever. Again, uh, I don't know why I'm being fucking punished, <laughs> asshole. Uh, so, yes, uh, Brandon. Hey, I have no issues. You know, I actually thought he was a good Superman. Yeah, I mean, he, it's he not was a good great movie, Christopher Reeves. <laughs> no, yeah, oh my god, and that's all I ever wanted was Superman. <laughs> Somebody else I'm a big fan of in here is Sherry Kevin Spacey. Appleby. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Well, he could act. Uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I can't wait for his new Christmas message, whatever that's gonna be. <laughs> Sherry Appleby, who plays his wife, she was on uh Roswell and a bunch of other things. Uh, always thought she was really good, I thought she'd blow up more. Um, but you know, she had a run, and uh, I, I do like her a lot. Uh, so pretty typical kind of um, Stepford Wives kind of vibe to this one. Uh, you've kind of seen this story before. But I wasn't. I was invested. I, I really liked uh, the 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 couple in this, um, and it it gets kind of dark towards the end. It's a very familiar story for me with this one. He got the diabetes, <laughs> <laughs> and then he became Wilfred Brimley. Um, <laughs> that actually would have been pretty cool to get the Wilfred Brimley fear itself. But uh, um, yeah. I, just that kind of that typical, you know, something's wrong. Everything's all every they kind of tip their hat to everything pretty early on, so it's not the most interesting episode for me. But you know, it, yeah, we're creating the ideal community you can't leave sort of deal. Um, I don't know, I, typical story. This was just an average episode for me. It's one that I really don't know if I have a whole lot to say. 
uh, it's just John Billingsley was also good. I liked when he uh, kind of started to fight back uh, and try and help Ralph. But yeah, I'm I'm just kind of like in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Um, was, uh, it, it doesn't peak or go too low because I'm yeah. I'm right there with you, Dan. I think Brandon Ralph was cool. Um, it did remind me of Karen, like because I just recently saw something like yeah. that, and I was like, I'd much rather watch Karen. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I thought it was cool too. Um, I thought the end. Yeah, you're right about the ending going dark because like they cut this fucker's legs off. Like, oh, you can't go anywhere now. <laughs> and, all it all it tells you is don't play Superman. And again, as we <laughs> as we've done on these other episodes, we do <laughs> shit that's fucked up. Um, that's, you know what else was thinking that is, the whole time? That's no, like, no, I, act, I actually I had a, I actually had that joke in my similar that's joke. That's funny, in my back man. Pocket, pray for we Henry Cavill. Talk, <laughs> we talk spoilers with the, our TV Terror talks. If you're new, um, there's not a whole lot to spoil here. I mean, you you kind of know where this one's going. Uh, but, you well, know, you, I had a good time with it. It was fine. What do you think, Mr. Kruger? Well, before Kruger goes, I have a feeling okay. it's it's going to be rough. I don't know. I just get that gut. I just wanted to throw out real quick that, yeah, my favorite. This was like everyone else, middle of the road, well, everyone else so far. Uh, and John Bill, John Billingsley was my the highlight of this. Everything he did was my favorite bits. So, um, For me, it's the middle of the road, too. There's there's like, I didn't give a shit about any of the characters. Like, the, the husband and the wife, I really didn't care about at all. Because I could already tell, like, the wife was going to turn on him. Like, you know, 150 miles away, you could see that. Uh, same, same with the lawyer, too. Like, I, I had a feeling. Um, I did like that one kill we got with the, with the fucking scissors, though. That was kind of out of nowhere, and uh, I did like that little portion, but just the predictability in the ending really hurt it for me, and I didn't really care much about the characters. I more cared about the concept and the awkwardness of uh, having your sex life spread around the fucking community. I thought that was, you know, the kind of Kind of probably the most interesting part of the story for me, but it's not, you know, it's not great, but it's not bad either. Middle of the road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. Rate this bitch. All right. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, middle of the road. It's a two and a half out of five. Yeah. Two and a half. Perfectly enjoyable. I've seen the story before, but. Yeah, two and a half. It's it's fine. If you like the actors, maybe you'll like it even a little bit more. Two and a half. Two and a half. And uh, one BR does this better. That was a recent movie that had. Yeah, that is a good one. It. Yeah, twenty twenty, the the year of horror. <laughs> Such a good year. Uh, all right. Sit. That was fast. Uh, moving on <laughs> to our. But yeah, I really don't have anything to say. I'm fairly uh, certain this one's the one that's going to be a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're, I think it will be. Uh, so, all right. Our next episode is Skin and Bones from director uh, Larry Fessenden and writers uh, Mick Garris, Drew McQueenie, and uh, Rebecca Swan. Also loosely based Shit. on the uh, Alexei Tolstoy uh, I didn't novel. know McGreeny wrote this. That's awesome. I should have paid attention. That's cool. <laughs> there's a lot, you know, Fear Itself, there's a lot of Masters of Horror on the writing side, too. Um, mm-hmm. Although the Masters uh, Masters of oh. Horror had, like, Bentley Little adaptations and um, David Sh- Scow, too. So, uh, but yeah, Fear Itself, it seems like they got some really good authors to adapt their shorts. Uh, so, yeah, Skin and Bones. Uh, when Rancher Grady Het Grady Edland returns home to his family after being lost in the forest for a number of days. His family realize he's no longer himself anymore. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Kruger, what did you think of Skin and Bones? Well, four words. All hail Doug Jones, dude, because <laughs> he is the fucking shit, and he killed it in this fucking goddamn thing. His performance in this, I thought, was fucking awesome. And just his character, the whole backstory of him being possessed by a Wendigo demon and eating his friends out in the middle of the woods. Uh, I just, I thought that was so fucking cool. And the look of him, like he had just this creepy look with his teeth kind of sticking out and sunken in face. And yeah, like at first, you know, he's just completely, you know, just going completely like blank. Uh, And 
you know, eventually he has this great scene with uh, the Native American character we get, uh, Teddy. I thought that 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 whole scene was awesome, and the whole dialogue going between them, and then the backstory with uh, Teddy, you know, his uncle being possessed by the Wendigo demon. So there's his connection there. I was super into this man, uh, and you know, once shit hits the fan, and uh, you know, every all Grady's past gets revealed, and you know, he wants to eat his family now. Uh, yeah, well, like I, I just thought that was just awesome that the way the uncle came in, and then you have this amazing scene at the end where, uh, great, you know, Grady had killed his brother, and he's forcing his wife, who's having an affair with her brother, to chop him up and cook him in a fucking stew, and then he forces her to eat him in front of you know together with him. Uh, just such a badass fucking episode. Eric uh, Cartman I, maneuver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I, I, yeah, I just, I, I absolutely love this and the, the ending too, with the sons, you know, going and killing Grady and the way the, the son has to bite Grady's nasty ass black fucking ear off to, you know, get him off him. I, I just, yeah, this was perfect. This could, uh, this is the one episode, this and, uh, the one Stuart Gordon episode are like the two that I definitely could say, like they would fit in the masters of horror no problem and yeah this is by far my favorite episode we've gotten so far right now uh what, what did you think pugs i forgot how much i like this episode uh it is fucking incredible network tv like it i just felt nasty watching it because like it's like they it has like a vibe like hills have eyes with snow yeah. and like cold and stuff yeah and i doug jones with his fucking teeth and his black finger back fingers frostbitten nasty like it's just gross and what he does is fucking amazing I, I again the cartman maneuver is yeah all hail doug jones i like this a lot uh highly recommend definitely worth your time <laughs> and they can flesh this out to a full-blown feature oh, yeah. easily and i'd watch the shit out of that too so yeah i like this one for shitload what about you mr dan or todd uh, well, i was gonna say uh yeah i'm with you guys this thing was it was was pretty awesome um, this is the first time for me this whole series, so these are all first ones for me. So this one so far is my favorite. So yeah, for me, this one an eater for me. Yeah. I I think yeah. if uh, this this new uh, Antlers Wendigo movie is half as good as this, I'll be satisfied. Me too. Uh, this one almost not not the story itself but it almost reminded me of that notorious x-files episode that they pulled <laughs> home uh, real yeah home there you go I, I was struggling with the name uh home you don't you don't you could just watch that having never seen an x-files episode yeah. and just be like holy fucking shit that's the one that got pulled uh, right after the it, one it got end. pulled and it's legitimately disturbing Kr and the Kruger. Store, have I you seen that? that no okay yeah, yeah the, no. before you get you, too far into hey, that yeah, Kruger, the there's a lot of horror episodes, standalone horror episodes of X Files. Yeah, this I, one's like the cream of the crop, though, dude. Like oh, <laughs> the, the, cops, <laughs> the cops one was pretty awesome. I'll just say. That. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Uh, I need to revisit that show. I have, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm down. Um, but yeah, this is one. Now, of course, it's always a different story with Fear itself, anyways. But still, for television at this time, I think this is way up there genuinely disturbing moments with doug jones uh in here um when he just goes you taste good uh after <laughs> licking her uh simple line but man does he sell it uh it's legitimately unnerving and th this one now we've said it before uh as a whole so far maybe masters of horror has is above this i i put this above the majority of the masters of horror episodes not all maybe i'd have to really kind of grade them together and look at all of them but this is cream of the crop though this is really really good uh everybody does their job here uh it's not easy to make a really truly scary television friendly uh episode particularly back then this is a little bit before like hannibal which i thought really uh <laughs> and Walking Dead, for that matter, that really, uh, yeah, Walking Dead's not for, but for what you could do, I'm saying, like, yeah, this, they did that on really, channel on NBC, yeah, definitely. And that the whole thing that Kruger was talking about, where he's making her like do the yeah. cooking, he's oh a carrot God. and an onion, 
<laughs> yeah. I like when she nutted up to him, though, and was like, you said to cook, you sit down. I was <laughs> like, damn, okay. Uh, you mean everyone gets their breaking points. <laughs> I actually might have liked this to have uh, ended on an even more downbeat note, though. I would have oh, liked yeah, for sure. to just... Like of just old. eating all these fucking all his kids and his wife, yeah, and just right. end with him taking it. Well, dude, that line, I <laughs> want you, dude, that, that line, I want you all inside me, like Jesus Christ. No, oh, you want it to get really fucked up? Knock out the wife, and as she comes to, he's just sitting on the crapper. He's like, "I'm dropping the kids off at the pool." There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Credits. <laughs> Finn masterpiece. There you go. You're a fool. Don't change. <laughs> oh, you love that shit. I do. I oh my god, I pop so fucking hard. <laughs> that doesn't happen enough in cannibal movies. Like I know this was not a cannibal movie for, per se, but like that we need to see them shit out human beings. I'm I I'd like to see that, please. Hey, that's a good point. It's a good effect scene. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. More shitting guys in cannibal movies. Oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, we had, we got some in Green Inferno, but not people. Uh, so yeah, uh, guys, check this one out. Dan, Even- do you like? Do you like? Do you, did you like Green Inferno? I forget now. You know, it's funny. At first, it it wasn't what I wanted, but when I judged it. When I judge it as its own thing, it's not what I would have wanted out of a Cannibal Holocaust remake. Homage. homage. Yeah. I mean, homage. at one point, it was kind of hinted that it was just a straight up remake. But yeah, I like it now. Now, let That's me ask you this 2021, you know, it's a Bloomhouse movie, right? <laughs> I don't hate everyone. I've told you before, I think Bloomhouse is like seven and 137, something like that. That's like their record. So they're, they're like the. I don't know. Insert shitty football team. They're the Cleveland Browns. Of <laughs> Why are you hitting the Brown? Cleveland Browns football team. They are a football team, aren't they? Sure. So there we go. I don't know. All right. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Let's yeah, rate, rate this bitch. Kruger, go for it. Uh, yeah, I'm a five out of five. I fucking love this I episode. Just say five. I mean, let's just get it over. Five great stand. Yeah, great. Piece One of big hole. That's <laughs> right. Yes, and like, let's all hail Doug. Hail Doug. Hail Doug. <laughs> hail Doug. Doug. Best Doug char- <laughs> dude, the best character actor of our times. Like he is. Dude, what he does with his fingers alone. It's just. Dude, he's so fucking amazing. Like, uh, just uh, him and, when him and Guillermo get to work together, like you know. Name really? Oh my god! So I can't wait. There we go. Uh, all right, so we will get on to the next one, guys. Speaking of fingering, this one comes from writer <laughs> Max Landis and director uh, <laughs> Ernest Ernest Dickerson. Um, Ernest Dickerson, was, <laughs> Ernest Dickerson was not fingering anyone. No, no Dickerson's a good guy. Wow. Dickerson Leave it there. ain't no Leave dick. It there. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and, and we do want to mention, this is the first of the five unaired episodes. So I kind of want opinions on, you. was it better left unaired for as we move on for the next four? Absolutely. So, uh, so yeah, something <laughs> with bite. And in this one, Wilbur is a, vet, a, a veterinarian who begins to turn into a werewolf after being bit by a large animal brought into his clinic. So, yes, as Todd said, uh, from this point on, none of these initially aired on television, uh, sadly. Not uh, even BET? This they, one? <laughs> well, I don't know if they aired later, but the original <laughs> run, they did it. They yeah. they got dropped later after the DVDs. They ended up airing on uh, Fear.net, if anyone remembers that. Yeah, I that. think Schiller. Oh, maybe. All right, maybe it was Fear.net. No, it was right? Fear, yeah. But, yeah, later on. But I do sadly, remember Fear.net, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> they, I could make a strong argument they aired some of these. The, the, if they had aired these a little earlier, maybe we would have gotten a season two. Because uh, I think, well, I'm tipping my hat. This I thought was really good. Now this is a very comedic episode. You're not lo- if you're looking for like a hardcore werewolf story. This isn't it. I'm a I've always been a big fan of Wendell Pierce who plays uh, um, Wilbur. Uh, always re- he's really fu- he can be really funny but also serious. He's one of those actors that that has a lot of range. He plays and, a good asshole too. Yeah. 
Oh, absolutely. And he never gets any credit. He's just one of those guys that always slays it. But, you know, he's not a household name by any means. But I, I, I want to put that out there. Excellent actor. And I thought he was hilarious in this. Um, say what you will about Max Landis. Uh, he, he wrote some entertaining characters here. I love the little montage of him uh uh, taking care of the the different animals nine lives my ass you're not gonna make it <laughs> uh, we're gonna need a bigger crate there, this this episode just put a smile on my face i almost felt like i was watching a creep show episode now i uh, was gonna say that yeah you might have just soured pugs on this episode yeah. if we didn't <laughs> well, it makes yeah. a certain sense because i i don't love it as much as dan does but yeah go for it yeah i i just this one I could have hung out with uh, this guy and his family for 90 minutes. I it hit, And I think once... He said hung he, out, not hung up. Everybody uh, calm down. Uh, I just wanted to hang out with Paula J. Parker. Also... <laughs> oh. Uh, also wanted to point <laughs> out... Yeah, his <laughs> that wife, was cringy, dude. His wife was looking good. Uh, yeah, I but when to, she growled, I was like, you need... Twice. The first one, I was like, ugh. The second she, one... She's like right. one of the original hood rats. She was no, no, I a, think she's awesome. I, uh, I, I love her. Like and her don't too. be a menace to South Central or drinking your juice in the hood. Shabambu? Come on. Hey, <laughs> I, I'm not reading my newspaper when she's like bending over in front of me. So, yeah, I'm just going to throw it out there. Hot. Uh, so, anyways, you guys. <laughs> tonight, too. Right. We, hey, we, we apologize. Too. I'm not saying it didn't happen. Um, it took me about three hours to watch this episode. I had to keep going. Back. Uh, that, is a bullshit lie. that is a bullshit lie. How many times? <laughs> but anyways, great werewolf. Uh, I thought the werewolf looked good in this. Um, we, we got some cool little gore bits. It's not really that kind of episode, but I did. I just had the comedy hit just right for me in this one. Um, I would have liked just a little bit more. This is one of those ones. Like I could have easily hang out for a feature length film uh yeah hot tag who wants to go i thought i, I enjoyed it a lot i co-signed with dan 100 percent. i i was gonna bring up the creep show thing um yeah it it was just a ton of fun i mean it's i mean there's not a lot to say i mean that you didn't already say dan i mean i, I was a fan of this one this one this one um probably one of my favorites after the other but totally different tones though so, but yeah, this one was a great watch for me. All right. I say enjoyable. I wouldn't go as far as great. Uh, there's a, at the end with, when, with the suit, we've seen that done better in another TV show. I'm just going to ruin it right now. Some, something similar happens in Hannibal and I, that, that made me want to watch Hannibal. Uh, but I did have a good time. I, d I did enjoy a lot of it. And Wilbur was hilarious. I like the, the asshole son. It's like, dude, you're lucky your dad's around. Look at you. Behave and spoiler fucking, pugs. I still haven't finished Hannibal. <laughs> I said I was going to, <laughs> I don't care. but you should because I know I'll finish yeah. season three. That one's on you, sir. Um, no, I, I I dug it, I thought it was cool. Um, uh, not perfect, but yeah, this is definitely higher in the rankings of these because it's funny and not like terribly. It, it, you remember Werewolf Within. That we watched yeah. not too long. See, this it was like so much better. That movie was okay, but I mean, if it would have been more like this, I think it would have been a better, better film. I I agree, and I, I didn't dislike that one, but yeah, this was. Yeah. I think I oh, liked the good. werewolf in this one. Wait, why well, no? I know, I know, I did, but um, yeah. I liked werewolf in a lot. <laughs> I, I remember liking that but shitty it was... werewolf man. No, that, yeah, yeah, over the counter fucking <laughs> Halloween club. <laughs> uh, but Kruger, what say you? Uh, I actually like this episode quite a bit. It's probably my third favorite episode uh, in the series so far. The humor definitely worked for me. Uh, just, you know, Wilbur was such a likable dude. And I liked, like, once he turned in... Well, the whole idea of a veterinarian turning into a werewolf, I think, is so cool. But not even just that. Like, the whole transformation with his character once he became, became the werewolf and he has this, you know, newfound confidence and his wife is all of a sudden getting the best sex of her life. Like, that shit's right. <laughs> yeah, like that shit was pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I also kind of liked how the werewolves actually, you know, they don't 
really kill people. They're we're vegan. Know, just yeah, they're just <laughs> chilling, and they, there's just a, just some weirdo out there that wants to be a werewolf going around killing people. Uh, the werewolves themselves looked really cool too, like great practical effects, and uh, yeah, this was this was a lot of fun. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a feature length of this one either, Dan. So uh, I'm with you on that. Yeah. No, I, I think, like I said, if they had aired a little bit earlier, maybe this, Skin and Bones, maybe it would have caught people's imagination a little bit more. Although NBC yeah. was always going to be a hard place to make this work. Yeah, I didn't I, even bother with it. I was like, I don't want network version of Masters of Horror. I, I, yeah, I think a whole lot of people that were used to the... You're part um, of the problem, Todd. <laughs> uh, that, that is too bad. But, oh, I do want to, another shout out. Uh, George Buzza, who plays um, Doug, uh, one of the, the older, the, the husband, the older werewolf couple, uh, he has played Santa Claus in a Christmas horror story, which he was great in that. Okay. Has also played Santa in some Hallmark productions, so that's, hey. he's kind of like a go-to Santa. But uh, another great character actor. He's always good. It's been around yeah. a long time. A Christmas horror story is fucking the shit. Yeah, he fights Krampus. Yeah, he, I he, love that goddamn fucking. I need anthology. to rewatch that this year. So good. Yeah, that may be one of the ones we have to do on our. Uh, mm, yeah, that's a yeah. that's a very good contender. Yeah, uh, so guys, check this out. This is, even if you don't watch them all, you, you just want to have a good time. Check this out. They're free on Vudu. Again, the commercials break. Yeah, fucking. So they're so them. fucked up. Uh, very <laughs> cheap DVD though. Still, I think so. Yeah, I think so I far. I think so far, uh, what was it? The Stuart Gordon one, Man Eater? Is that Eater. what it was called? Eater. 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 Yeah, Eater. Eater and Skin and Bone so far definitely like, may, like, even if every episode sucks from here on, those two episodes make this whole thing worth it. So, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, we already kind of answered this. Should should not this still should have been aired it wasn't like yeah for sure and it's this weird because yeah. they air them out of order when they aired them because like the dvds goes in production order versus the on-air order like the way that that they're put pretty much put out everywhere so they picked and choose which ones went up so i'm really curious about the rest back I think of the bus that, with these guys yeah they should have at least replaced that fucking shit zombie one with you know the, the uh, what year did this? What, what year did this air? Was Walking 2009, Dead? Two thousand nine, I believe. Oh, yeah, so Walking Dead was already a big deal. So they were pulling the zombie. Seven? It was early. Well, then, uh, no, I, this was two thousand. Oh uh, wait, no, two thousand eight. Eight. Okay, that was close. Wait, when did Walking Dead start, Dan? Two thousand ten. Halloween night, two thousand ten, I believe. Oh, okay, yeah. so this is before. I was actually at Chiller in a hotel <laughs> watching that. So uh, why don't we rate this one then? All right, oh, absolutely. Uh, different kind of story, obviously, from our previous, but I'm still a five. I think it did everything it could do in forty some minutes. Um, I'm not that high. But I'm I'm at three and a half, and I think there's room to grow. I think it could get maybe up to a four with you know time, and I would rewatch it. So three and a half out of five for me. That's where I'm at. I'm a three and a half out of five. What about my you? Yawn is not, my yawn is not reflecting the, the rating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a four and a half on this one. Oh, wow. Right on. Cool. cool. Yeah. Very enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Um, so I've only got one more of these left and we're, we're done with. We're going to do four next time? Yeah. Yep, next week we got is yeah. four episode one. Yeah, the last four unaired. Yes. Uh, so. Guys, we hope you've been enjoying this. As I said, uh, be sure to check out uh, all our Slashtober episodes as well. Uh, they will be a playlist at some point as well. Uh, There's already a playlist. Already a playlist. Sure added. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, catch up on all of this. All our other shows, our Halloween Kills show, our uh, Tatane and our... Uh, uh, our Tatane and Lamb show, our Chucky review, all of those, have, I think, have been really great shows. And we have content every day throughout October. So we hope you're enjoying your Halloween season. And, uh, yeah, good night, I guess. What's your time? Good. good um, yeah, good night. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> He's so out. sick, motherfuckers. <laughs> and I'll see you in Disneyland. <laughs>